watching a video that was filmed possibly and or recorded for older channels of mine so this is the dre of the future telling you that the dre of the past to enjoy the video so i hope you guys enjoy it it's different a lot of y'all wanted some of my older school content and since i'm going through the hard drive finding some good gems for you guys to enjoy all right stay geeky y'all peace <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Geek Depot, it's your boy Dre, and yes, this is an unboxing, and this is not just your typical unboxing, this is an unboxing of the Mezco 112th scale figure of Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn. Yes, it is the infamous queen of crime. Well, not really the queen of crime, because most everybody loves her nowadays. So, this is the unboxing I wanted to do. It's actually not my toy, it's my roommate's, and... You know, when you ask your best friend, can I unbox something, they say, sure. Uh, well, if I broke it, it's mine. So I don't want to pay the 80 bucks to replace this. So I'm going to do my best to unbox this and show you guys what the Mesco 112th line looks like. Now, for those that know, uh, your boy Dre has been interested in getting a couple of 112s, scale myself. So obviously, this tells you it's the 112th. It says, pose, play, display. And it's by Mesco. Now this is obviously Suicide Squad Harley. And it tells you here, as you can see on the back, all the cool accoutrement that she comes with. Her gun, this, the Goodnight Slugger. Uh, it shows you some alternate heads it comes with. It tells you not for a toy for children, intended for adult collectors only. That's actually the first time I've ever seen that on a box. I thought that was pretty cool. It tells you age is 18 and up. Uh, it shows you what she looks like and some poses you can do. So let me actually, uh, besides doing that, it tells you that there's over 30 points of articulation. Actually, this is less points of articulation than a uh, SH Fig Arts. So that's interesting to, to note. So I'm going to take this sleeve off. And the sleeve actually looks really cool. I kind of like this. Like they do a lot, the, a lot of that with the Hot Toys. So you can see here, it tells you the 112. It's actually got a pretty cool design on the back here it's uh you can't really see it it looks like a ant face i don't know why might be the mesco uh, uh i guess mascot but here she is there's the different heads uh she gets some different hands the slugger uh some looks like other stuff in here and the gun and the base now i'm gonna try to do this gently because i've been wanting to unbox this uh quite Honestly, it looks, it looks amazing. So, let's put this over here. Now, I'm actually going to put this back in the box. So, I'm just going to slowly like take out some parts and just tell you what it feels like to the touch. Um, I did have my knife in case I had to actually open some parts of it. But as you can see here, it's actually got some really cool things. And it's something I think that's actually uh, to be noted that it actually has some pretty cool detail on the actual little uh, accoutre, the I say accoutrement, but the actual accessories, uh, you know, for the for the you know the nerds that say on that Dre's using a thirty dollar word. <laughs> so let's actually take this out. Now they actually layer it up, so you have this plastic layer that's actually going to go over the figure, which is inside of a plastic baggie, and it covers some of the accessories. Uh, this is the holster she wears to hold her gun, and it actually can hold the pistol. That's actually pretty pretty damn cool. Uh, I didn't know it could do that. Uh, it's the slugger, which has got some amazing detail on it, and the gun itself. Now, um, obviously, you have the different sculpted heads. You have her with the uh, the tongue out. I gotta give it some amazing detailing. Now, the paint on the hair is not so great. Uh, it feels like it bled a little bit, but the, the details on the face are actually pretty nice. Um, trying to see... Um, yeah, like it bleeds through on top of it, so it's kind of a sad thing, but I've been wanting to see what this looks like, so this is kind of like a review of the toy, too. So, I, I again, Harley's not my character. She's several people that I love's character, so this one actually looks pretty cool. It's her chewing the bubble gum, and it's actually got the little bubble. Uh, again, the hair is very hard plastic, like similar to a Play Arts Kai, but the face sculpt doesn't look bad. So, let's put that back here. 
you get different sets of hands. You get the glove. Uh, you get the. They actually they painted her fingernails on the hands, which I thought was pretty cool, uh, similar to her hairstyle. Now let's take this. Now it has a, a couple layers of plastic. Like I said, this is not mine, so I'm being very gentle with this. Uh, like I said, I wanted to see the material on the toy and actually see how they feel because eventually I would like to purchase one. Now this already off the bat is kind of creepy because uh, I don't want to say creepy is I guess a bad adjective. Let's try to use the, the adjective uh, interesting. Um, you can tell that there's some ball joints for the articulation. Um, I do not like how this looks with the shoes. Um, they do actually have spike heels and protectors for that for the base, which I think is actually a very uh, unique thing. There's two pegs in the feet, so that way you can actually put this in the base. I Again, these heel shoe sneaker thingies, I don't know what that is. So let me put this back on her spiked little heel. Oh, it came off. Uh, there we go. Um, there is actual, the fishnet stockings are actually made of fishnet and the clothes are actual cloth. Um, it is not clean on the sculpt right there at the head joint. You could actually see, but the heads are replaceable. So that's why I guess they didn't want to sculpt it too tight, but I do have to give some quality on the tattoos. Um, they even did the tattoos on her legs around her thighs, on her abdomen. Uh, I mean, it is actually a very well done figure. Uh, it's kind of creepy that there's actual cloth on this. I've never felt an action figure that has cloth built onto it. Again, these are things I didn't expect when I was seeing uh, Mesco. So you are getting what you pay for in the $80 price range because that's how much she was. Um, it's interesting like so you can actually see that I mean I can't even show you all the details because it's just it's kind of crazy uh, but you can see that there's the the tramp stamp tattoo she has um, I again I'm not impressed with the neck and the head sculpt um, this wouldn't have been something I would have personally picked up um, for myself because again I'm not a Harley Quinn fan but I could definitely see the appeal of these toys for collectors. Um, I've noticed that Mesco has become kind of a rather big line amongst the collector community that are looking for something a little bit more higher end than your typical um, Funko Pop SH Fig Arts, which now have jumped up in price to combat the Mesco. But, you know, I, I mean, as a whole, I'm now skeptical for myself for purchasing one because I don't like the sculpt but again the one I got is Hella and I like the character so I'm wondering if that one's gonna look better hopefully somebody gets an early beta of it um, and does a little bit of a, of, a, of a box review for it so I might hold off still I mean for 80 bucks not a bad uh, you know sculpt not a bad presentation I'd give the presentation of the Mezco a 5 out of 5 um, on the actual, you know, accessories for the bat, the holster that holds the gun and the gun, I'd give them a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, for the actual details down on the figure itself, I would give it a 5 out of 5. Now, as for the head sculpt and for the the, tech, the, the way the figure uh, feels in the hand and how it looks for posing, it doesn't feel sturdy. Uh, even though it says it's got 30 points of articulation, I don't think I'd want to go too crazy because it might rip the fabric. And that's the only other thing I would give it very low scores on. So I'd give it like maybe a 3 out of 5 for the, uh, the posability and maybe even less than that due to the fact that if I put this out where it can be affected by the elements, um, the cloth won't hold up like a plastic would. But then again, cloth also looks cool. It could show age. But... Again, it depends on what type of collector you, you want to be with your toys. Um, again, I do like that Mesco details that this is for an adult collector. Um, I would say that um, you can see her bra through the uh, thing. So for parents that want to buy this for like a fan that's maybe 13, 14 years old, I'd probably reconsider it. Um, but again, overall, I'd give this a solid three, 3.5 out of 5. 
I think that just because the other things of things of this Harley figure I don't personally like, it is something that could be beneficial to a Harley Quinn fan. Now, like I said, I would, I don't want to, I'm not going to take it out further and pose it or anything like that because again, this is not my figure. This is my roommate's and I thank her for letting me do this because it was a very awesome, awesome thing to actually get to take out and take a look at. So like I said, it's not a bad, it's an interesting take on her figure. I think I would rather invest, personally, if I was, if I was a real big Harley fan, I would invest the money in the hot toy. Uh, I'd rather spend the 250 and actually have like the uh, Margot Robbie hot toy where there's things I can do and it has a higher resale value. Uh, Mesco's still relatively new on the market with these with this line of 112, so I don't really know how it will hold up to things. But, you know, if you guys like this sort of stuff, you know, let me know in the comments below if you guys like my unboxing video. I know this wasn't like the greatest unboxing videos that I've done, but again, if it was mine, I would be going into more detail, I would take it out and I'd pose it and actually articulate it and see how things are. Um, but like I said, this is just a beta for the Mezco that I was looking at getting, which now I'm reconsidering. Um, but again, I would give it for presentation a solid, for, for this, presentation wise, this thing looks awesome. I mean, it looks presentable as if it was a Hot Toys box. Uh, Hot Toys come in the same sleeves and everything. So, again, overall, 2.75 to a 3.25 uh, on the figure itself. 5 out of 5 on this on this presentation. So, hey, I know you guys love seeing these types of videos, so please comment below, like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, hit the bell so you know when I'm actually posting more of these videos. And, again, my friends, I hope you liked it. Uh, this, again, is the Harley Quinn 112 Mesco. So, as always, my friends, you know, hashtag family. Hashtag stay geeky. Enjoy the rest of your evening, folks. Peace.